of Silky Sacks and I'm here today to do a review on this sensational Kessie wig. But before we get into that, there's a few things I want to ask you to do. If this is your first time coming over to Silky Sacks, I want to say thank you so much and welcome. Here we do wig reviews, we give you hair tips, we do hair tutorials, we try products on, new things. So if that's your kind of thing and you love that, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell so you'll never miss a video when we drop it every Monday and Friday. And if you're watching over on Facebook, we love you over on the FB too. Go ahead and give this video a like and a share and then a thumbs up, okay? Let me know what you are thinking of Kessie. Kessie is serving 90s, right? This is super cute. I used to rock my hair like this in the 90s. I love this style. I think it's super cute. So it's kind of crazy to see it come back. So let me know if you were around in the 90s, did you rock this hair? Or even now, would you rock this style? Let's talk about it. And last but not least, I love to send a shout out to all of my Silky Chicks. That is what I call my subs. And today's shout out is going to Slade by Sweetie. She is a fellow wig reviewer and she slays her units. I'm going to put the link to her channel down below in the description box. Please go check her out and let her know that Silky Sack sent you. Now without further ado, let's get into this flipped up bob, y'all. Let's go ahead and talk about Kessie. So this is Kessie. She is a part of Sensational Share Muse Collection. Now, if you're not familiar with the Share Muse Collection, Share Muse Collection is like bright, vibrant, bold styles, and they always incorporate vi um, vibrant and beautiful colors. So I'm a fan of these. These are like why I love to wear wigs because you can try fun styles and colors. So I will have links to other um, wigs from this collection that I review, but this is Kessie. And so she um, is heat friendly, she's HD lace, she has the ear to ear lace, she has the baby hair, I just am not rocking them. Now this is the color Peekaboo Pink and as you can see on the ends, the pink is like popping up which I think is super cute because you know this is a cute look on its own like with the little flip but I love that it has the peekaboo color. So that's what the Share Muse Collection will do like I was saying earlier, they'll put like you know something fun with it. It does come in quite a few colors. Hold on, let me grab that for you. These are all the different color options that you get. There's some pretty bold colors here. Uh, again, I'm rocking the neon pink. The density on this one is pretty normal. Um, she's not too thick, and the texture is definitely more of a silky, but it's not that silky. It's a quality silky, right? It has like a touch of yakiness to it. If you know what I mean? It's not that like baby doll hair silky. It is silky, but it's not to the point to where like people are like oh my god look at it and I just think it's cute because of the style I just love a good bold style unit so we're gonna go ahead and get into the unboxing the styling my pros and cons of this unit but before we get into that I just want to let you know that if you need help with your hairline protecting your edges protecting it or just needing something to stimulate a little bit more growth while you're doing your protective styling we did put together a free pdf oils for your edges it gives you five edges five oils excuse me that you can start doing right now on your edges so that you can keep them pristine and in good shape or start to repair them the link to that will also be down in the description box so check it out now without further ado let's go ahead and get into miss kessie's review so here is Kelsey. Let's go ahead and open her up. All right, so here is Kelsey out of the pack. She is definitely more of a... She, she's silky. There's a little bit of a yakiness there. I mean, she's not super silky like baby doll hair, but it's definitely, I think, more a little bit more silkier than normal. I love the, that peekaboo color popping through. The curls. You got the baby hair the left side part so let's go ahead and get into this cap so there is two combs here on the side it's a closed cap does have some stretch to it though you got the typical adjustable straps and a comb in the back so let me just fix this and then we will go ahead and put Kessie on need to go over a little bit more so she is snug but oh no she not 
I'm tripping. It wasn't pulled down all the way. Okay, there's room. She is big head friendly. Cassie is big head friendly. I am already feeling like the 90s, y'all. Oh my god. Love it. So let's go ahead and get into that 360. So here is Cassie in the front. Cassie to the right. Cassie to the left. Cassie in the back. So I am going to go ahead, cut the lace style Cassie. We will come back and give you my pros, cons, and final thoughts on this unit. Alright, so I am back from styling Kessie. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I did was I went ahead and cut the lace off. Now I did not go in and spray or tint um, the lace on this wig at all because it just has this little um, part right here. And the way it's styled, I didn't really feel like you need it. I feel like it looks pretty realistic and pretty good. So I did not do that. However, you can go in and tint the lace if you so choose. Then I went in with a little bit of mousse to just help with the frizzes and frays to get them um, down and into place. And then I wanted to take some heat and put it in there because to me, she still seemed a little poofy, especially in the crown. So I went ahead and went in with my Silky Sacks hot comb and just went and put some heat in the top. I combed it and then took the end of it and just rubbed it and pressed it down really good. Then I also went in and took my brush and it's just like a regular brush that you would use to put your hair in ponytails and took and just put my finger at the top of the curl and then brushed it up to make sure that the flip was just really defined and made sure that it stayed there and then of course last not least i went in to open up that part a little bit more especially since the roots are dark with my fit me powder to just pop that part and open it up and that was it that was it you guys so kessie was a real easy throw on and go which you know i love around here if you watch me a lot so let's go ahead and get into the pros and cons so for the pros cassie is an easy throw on and go if you are a lazy wig wearer or you like wigs that you don't have to do a lot to you can just throw it on and go cassie definitely meets that the style i think the style is super cute she is serving up 90s she is serving up bold she is serving up color so she's big on style so some people might be a little bit intimidated by it and this might not be really something for them but i love that for me that is a pro because to me that is the fun of wearing a wig girl you just try on something fun cute and you don't like it send her away I also like that the color is like peekaboo and I like this look. Like I said earlier in the video, I really rock this look in the 90s. So I'm here for this look. And then last but not least, um, you know, she's a nice texture. I didn't get any shedding or any tangling really. So that's a great thing for cons. She is extremely styled so you know like i said she's not going to be something that you're probably going to wear every day all the time i definitely think she's more of a look and for an event or something you know very specific unless you can get her in a full natural color and really that's all i can really say for cons is the style you know the style might be like a little bit too bold or a little bit too much but i really can't say anything about the construction or the um, hair quality or anything like that because I think you know this is true to the Sheer Muse collection I think they have some really great expressive units in this collection and of course when I take this wig off I'm not going to put it back into the plastic that it came out of I'm going to put it in my luxurious silky sack a silky sack is a silk line bag that I invented to not only store your wig in but to add longevity to it the silk line allows the hair to just glide cutting down on the shedding tangling and matting that wigs will usually do if you just throw them back in the plastic they do get dried out that's why we wear bonnets instead of shower cups at night when we want to protect our hair so if you're interested in silky sacks and some of the other products that we have or that you've seen then go ahead and check out that description box the link to the website is down below as always i want to say thank you so much for watching remember better care is better wear and i hope to see you in the next video Oh, my God.